Joe Zarzer here with Dr. Malone uh, for another installment of Zarzer Law TV. Um, we're here today to talk about a, a, a timely subject. Uh, I don't know if any of you saw a 60 Minutes episode about uh, two weeks ago now on the issue with lumber liquidators and their Chinese hardwood flooring. Um, there have been um, some investigations done and they have found that the level of formaldehyde at present in some of the lumber liquidator flooring has actually reached uh, thousands of times higher in concentration than is permitted um, under U.S. regulations. Uh, obviously, uh, our firm uh, already has clients that uh, have this issue, and we, uh, we actually have a case where um, the, cl the customer's clients bought hardwood floors in their whole house, uh, it turned out to be the Chinese version uh, with the formaldehyde issue. Uh, they also were storing uh, extra flooring underneath their bed for two and a half years. Um, so what we wanted Dr. Malone to do was tell us what type of uh, injuries somebody can get from being in a house that has an uh, extraordinate or an unhealthy amount of formaldehyde in the atmosphere. Okay. Uh, the main thing would be respiratory complications, respiratory symptoms, and depending on the individual, it can range from innocent, like kind of like seasonal allergy type symptoms to very extreme chronic respiratory distress, again, depending on your underlying, or your underlying history. So if you have emphysema, COPD, if you have asthma, anything like that is gonna put you more into the extreme uh, uh, experience of things where I get wheezes, I get short of breath, I get maybe some chest pain when I'm exposed to this because it can be a trigger that causes what we call bronchospasm or uh, basically shrinking down of the airways, which is what an asthma attack is, so to speak. Um, along with that, you can get what we call chronic bronchitis, which is just a chronic inflammation of the airways that is made much worse from something like the formaldehyde because of the chemical uh, irritation to the airway lining. And that's another term for that is, besides the chronic bronchitis, would be what we call chemical pneumonitis, or again, inflammation, that's what pneumonitis means, chemical pneumonitis to the tissue of the lung, the airways of the lung. And again, the way you, some of these people, the way, short of the news report that Joe had mentioned, the way that they've diagnosed some of these cases is these people and go, keep going to the doctor and, hey, I, I got better, you know, I, I was on vacation last week and I felt great, and ever since I got back, I'm feeling horrible. Well, you know why? You're living back in your house. So it's a temporal exposure. So that's how a lot of these um, allergens or the, um, uh, environmental factors play into it. So you have to kind of check out your own personal diary of what, what caused the symptoms. So that's how some of these people are learning that they've got some of these flooring. Um, right. So you can do your own experience and say, find out what the actual product is, but if you think it's something in your home, then remove yourself from the home and if it gets better, it very well may be. Yep. And actually Lumber Liquidators has a special part of their website set up to identify the products that, are, that have the extra formaldehyde and then they're also sending out a home test kit, and I urge anybody that's, do, that's involved in this situation not to participate in the lumber liquidator's version of the testing. If you think you've got the flooring, you can confirm that via their website, and then once you confirm that you have the flooring, flooring rather, and you have symptoms, you need to see a lawyer. Um, it's that simple. So um, we're on the web at zarzalaw.com. Uh, you can get us by phone at 855-HIRE-JOE. Um, uh, Dr. Malone and I appreciate you paying attention. If you have other questions about the lumber liquidator formaldehyde flooring or Chinese flooring issue, please give us a call or catch us on the web. Thank you.